theaters are of course shut down, but that means the show must still go on. So to do that, the Home Ground Project has brought together actors and production folks all together to do what they do best from home, all for a good cause, and you can be part. So co-founder of the Homebound Project, Jenna Warsham is here, along with an actor that you will recognize from TV and film, Thomas Sadowski. Hi, guys. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Great. OK, so um, Jenna, I want to start with you. What is Homebound Project? How does it work? And who does it help? Thank you. Yes, yeah, so it's a new independent theater initiative. We're gathering together a lot of emerging and established writers of the American theater and pairing them with some pretty incredible actors to make new theater now. And then we sort of stream, we put it all together into one show, we stream it online, and all of your ticket donations go to No Kid Hungry. Okay, um, so Tommy, I was watching the first couple of these and they are funny, outrageous. Yeah you know, touching. What is it like for you to actually do a production in your house on an iPhone? <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's an odd experience, but I, I tell you, you know, it's, it's so thrilling and, and such an honor to get to work with the quality of playwrights and the quality of talents. I mean, the number of Pulitzer nominees and winners that we have uh, in our list of writers is, is, is frankly sort of baffling. Um, we actually, like literally, we have legendary playwrights that are participating in this. Um, and to get asked to, to, to do original works by these folks and to be able to do it in the comfort of your own home. And then most importantly, to be able to like, have that collaboration do some good for kids who need food. Um, you know, the most fundamental uh, an important sort of uh, 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 service that you can you can do uh, is it's an incredible experience and uh, I'm just I'm thrilled to be a part of it. So Jenna, for you, I mean, when you I mean, when all this hits and obviously the theater starts shutting down, everybody starts to panic, right? It, their jobs are in jeopardy, their livelihoods are in jeopardy. What was it about this that made you say? we got to do something. And let me just get every big name actor I know to also donate his or her time to make this happen. Right, right. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of, uh, a lot of friendship emails going out saying like, please. Um, no, but actually the response has been overwhelming. That's yeah. something that's very moving about it. Um, is, you know, the theater is a small community. And, you know, once you start to get yeses, people hear about it. I mean, now we have people coming to us. It's, it's, it's really incredible. Um, but, you know, it all started back in March. I had a play I directed off Broadway that was shut down right before it opened. Like so many theater artists, just heartbreaking. And I was sitting around um, my house talking to Kachi McMullen, my co-founder, uh, who's also a playwright and wrote for the first edition. And we were talking about how useless we were because we are artists, because we're not firemen or surgeons or nurses um, or essential workers. And we had forgotten that because, you know, in, a, in I think a wonderful way often, um, being an artist makes you a little self-centered, right? It's very introspective, um, which is important. It's what we do, right? It's, it enables our audience to be that way as well. Um, so we started talking and saying, well, what if there was a way to make theater right now in a way that also helps the people who are out there on the front lines of this crisis? So uh, we got very lucky. We brought on a creative producer and she connected us with No Kid Hungry, who we were delighted. They just loved the idea, you know, not only because obviously it would help raise money, but because it was a creative way to spread awareness about child hunger right now, which is, you know, there's an incredible need for assistance in that area across the country. There always is, but right now more than ever. And, um, you know, then we just started sending emails. And like I said, people just started saying yes. It was really incredible. So the uh, event is happening next week. Mm -hmm. Tickets are available now. So Tommy, for you, I know you are participating in this upcoming um, event. What is your piece this time? <laughs> we, uh, I'm getting, the, I have this is an incredible opportunity to work with one of my favorite actors, Jennifer Carpenter, um, who people would, would know from Dexter, um, and, uh, and her own show that she had on uh, ABC, uh, this past season. Um, but, uh, uh, we are doing a, a, an original piece by the legendary playwright, John Guare, um, who, it, which is just, it's, it's such a, a, a <laughs> a chilling, um, bizarre, wonderful, funny little piece that, you know, we'll 
it, five, seven minutes of it. Uh, I think it's like, you know, it's, I think it's like six pages long. Um, and we're just getting ready to really do, we, we've just started talking about it. We're working with legendary theater director, uh, Jerry Zachs on it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's incredible. Like we, Jennifer and I are just to keep on pinching ourselves and saying, we can't believe we have this opportunity to work on an original John Guare, uh piece from the comfort of my couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on an iPhone, which is, this is a feat in and of itself. So, and I mean, I saw the lineup, Diane Lane is, is going to be doing a piece, Blair Underwood, people, I mean, these are names people recognize. And, and so it's just little short, is that what, they're like little short? Yeah, honestly, it's, um, it's, it's really lovely. It's kind of a collection of short plays. So they run anything from like three minutes to six or seven minutes, depending on what the writer does, you know, and how the actor, you know, ends up shooting and performing it. But all of them have this really beautiful homemade theater feel to them, you know? I think we're leaning into the- Is that a nice way of saying a little sketchy or does it look pretty <laughs> legit? <laughs> well, you know, in the theater in and of itself, like our roots are very scrappy, you know? And yeah. I think, I just want to say that we're not trying to make film, you know? Like we're, yeah. a lot of these people do make film and television, but we, we are also theater makers. So that, the essence of that, the liveness of that, the rawness of that is what we're trying to bring to people's homes. Well, yeah, you, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. These are just, these are straight takes, you know? This it's is, live, you know, this is sense. about as live as you can get uh, right now without, you know, being stuck in a massive Zoom meeting, um, you know, which- I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, but it, you know, we don't, we don't have the overhead to make sort of short films, nor did we set out to make short films. Um, it's all volunteer people. It's all, yeah, and, and if we had overhead to make short films, we would have donated it all to No Kid Hungry anyway. So the, the sort of do-it-yourself scrappiness is, I think part of the joy of the experience. Well, you know, and to be fair, when I was watching the video from the previous one, what I noticed was, yes, it was homemade, but you can still see the talent of the actors, the talent of what they're saying, the way it's written, the way even it's directed and shot. You can see that there's talent involved. It's not like just some kid on a skateboard with an iPhone, you know? <laughs> no, 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 it, it, it is, we weirdly are, are I think sort of constantly seeing like, you know what, the stories come through and and, and the quality comes through. Um, and also, you know, people I think have been, the responses I've been getting, people just enjoy very much the opportunity to just kick back, lay down on the couch, watch it on their phone, watch it on their laptop, um, you know, and, and, and have the experience. Of, and it's something so. that's so relevant, right? Like yeah. these writers are writing now and these, you know, we stream every two or three weeks and the nation's in a different place every two or three weeks. And, and who better than playwrights then to give voice to like the emotional and psychological state that we're in right now. So it's something oh. people can really relate to. Totally. Okay, so where can people go? I know, I mean, and P.S., like, these tickets are totally reasonable, and you can see some really incredible talent. So where can people go to, to buy tickets to this? Absolutely. Go to Homebound Theater. That's theater with an E-R. Homeboundtheater.org. You click on the tickets page. It's super easy. You make a minimum donation of $10 or more. It's basically pick your own ticket price, $10 or more and you will be given a link and access code from No Kid Hungry to watch the performance. I just wanna commend you guys for raising $73,000 so far for this wonderful organization. Again, the event is happening this week, June 24th through June 28th, and tickets are available now. I thank you for coming on and thank you for your time and good work and please keep us updated. We'd love to see you guys again. Thank you so much, Thank Lisa. So much. Really appreciate you taking the time to, to to give us a platform and a voice to to talk to folks about this. I mean, not to, to belabor the point, but you know, this is ultimately we're dealing with childhood hunger, and, and one in five kids in this country come from food insecure homes. And No Kid Hungry does an extraordinary service to ensuring that those kids get the meals that they need right now more than ever. So your your donation to come and watch, you know, Zachary Quinto and Diane Lane and Blair Underwood walk around in their backyard making, uh, you know, iPhone theater. Um, goes to an incredible organization that does a good that is uh, almost impossible to, to uh, define. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you.